Welcome back. To Satisfactory. Ah, oh, so happy to be playing this on the main channel. Okay, so it's another transition period between dark and light. Kind of a twilight mode. It's hard to say though. It just looks really cool. We have a uh, Our control units being made here and I'm standing on the building for assembly directories assembly director systems this one hasn't been built at all this one is one-fourth done on the shell you gotta remember it takes tens of thousands of quartz crystals to put all this lighting together but one thing we want to do is put in I think we need a blueprint and we're going to make it fix it orange. So the inside of this is fix it orange. The outside is cyan. And if we look at this one, it's going to be the reverse. Now, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see on the inside, but at the very least, you will be able to see two towers with different colors. And if you can happen to see that the colors inside are reversed as well, then all the better. And if we are really good to ourselves, we can jump up here and check this recipe. Right, it's only two items, two items in, one item out. I doubt I'm going to have enough adaptive control units being built at any given time to justify two adaptive control unit belts. So I'm thinking two belts in for each type and one belt out, maybe two belts out for each type. Something along those lines. So let's head over to our blueprint area I keep misplacing my coffee mug This is already called assembly director. Technically it's not that anymore. Well, we can deal with that a bit. Let's get these colors where we want them. It looks so cool at night. Oh, wait. I think we have another wall over here. Yeah, let's get both these done. I actually was in delete mode, and I thought I was recoloring. <laughs> that could have been sad. Changing these. Oh, this might be a nightmare. There's absolutely no way to click on multiple.
All right, I think I'm going to cut on this because this is just going to be a ton of copy pasting. And I can't think of a way. Yeah, I can't think of a way to do it faster. So give me a second. I'm going to paste all these back into orange and then I'll be right back. Okay. It is 100% orange now. Actually, I'm checking the reflections. I see some cyan somewhere, but I don't know where it's reflecting from. Oh, it might be reflecting from up there. This guy is all... All orange all the time. So we're going to call this... Mono... As... Orange. We're running out of letters. Outer shell, no lift. We're really running out of letters. That's okay. I think we know what we're talking about. And then I could come back in here. I definitely don't want to copy and paste all that stuff again. So what are we thinking? We could do... <sighs> so we've got one output, two inputs. I could put four belts on this side, two on the other side. Or two in per ingredient, two out. Uh-oh. Iron rods and iron plates aren't in my inventory. Well, you know what? Maybe I've got a few in here. Just enough. I guess I don't have to put in the directions. Let's not even think about the directions right now. Right? Because we're only going to build the bottom of this thing and then do an infinite connect. So if we leave it without direction. stripe of blue so there was some blue in there that's pretty straightforward We'll just call this orange. Get rid of the no lift.
Then we'll reload the Nola blueprint. And find that little blue stripe. Okay, let's save that. And we're good. I think we might actually call that a video, just sort of manipulating the blueprints to copy things and make good, efficient use of our time. Oh, they changed the sound on the chainsaw. It's a heck of a lot more subtle. Alright, let's see. Let's find something we can hold in our hand here. I think that's it. I think we'll do that. And then tomorrow, well, in between videos, I'll collect the necessary materials to build all that because if we put this monstrosity into our, let's just say for a moment, we want to build all of the base, all the top. Let's say we just do that. Well, that's only 13,000 quartz crystals. So that's not too bad. How did we do it on this side? I think the top is kind of not the... I think this is the... This is the top down here. And then this is a, another empty. And then we just put this roof on it and then connected those to it. Okay, pretty straightforward. So, hey, just the thought about, you know, you've got a blueprint, the blueprint's working for you, and you want to do some stylistic fun. Well, good news is, is we've got enough computers now that we're at least filling this up. So all of our quick wire load balancing actually doing some good. That's nice to see. We're actually shipping in a good amount. Of course, these guys at the bottom still are getting the short short end of the stick, but these are all things we can figure out in the next video. Right now, just imagine that beautiful fix-it orange base going on to this Cyan building. And then we can connect with infinite lifts to the top and then distribute everything that's going on.
it's interesting how certain signs have a different render distance than others. Right, because I built this one all the way up. But not this side. That's why they look different. But at the end of the day, we still have... Uh-oh. We still have... Well, what did we do? Because it looks like we did two inputs... Two outputs? All right, assembly director, let's go out. And up, over, oh, okay. So I was really, really trying to leave things open for the future. And I set it up with two input for one ingredient, one input for one ingredient, one output. So gonna have to try to keep that in mind when it comes to him to hook all this up these two outer ones are the are the outer connection for the adaptive control units the supercomputer is just gonna come flying in because our supercomputer tower Though it will never be finished, it is producing plenty of supercomputers. Okay, I think we're done. We're good. We're looking good. So this is the output, supercomputer input, adaptive control unit input, adaptive control unit input. Easy enough. And from here, we can see our original coal factory. I know I keep pointing that out, but it's interesting how big the map feels and then sometimes you look over here and you're like oh six months ago i was playing right here that was the first thing that i built then we went down here and built the tiny coal power plant then we put probably like a month into building the giant coal power plant And even though you can't see it, right over that ridge, we built that giant oil, oil power plant. Well, you can't see it. Look at that river over there in that mountain. They're really upgrading this. This looks really cool. But you know what? <laughs> That's not what we're here for. Thanks for hanging out. And I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.